Good evening. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. This is a show that is dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So here we are again at the Great Prog War. This is the battle number 24, last one of this round, of round two that is. <coughs> this features <coughs> the band Palace and their album The Sentinel versus Fantasy and their album Beyond the Beyond Plus. I always forget the plus part. Anyways, um, the Palace album was released in 1984. Has uh, nine tracks on it. I think ten tracks actually. Yeah, because I'm stupid ads are showing up here. God, they never stop posting these things and getting in your way. Anyways, uh, so there's like, yeah, ten, ten tracks, I said. Yeah, ten tracks. <clears throat> Doesn't want to give me that tenth one. I know there's ten, though. Okay, there. Now that's better. Okay, really solid album. <clears throat> this is my third time listening to it now. First time was uh, in last month's uh, Progressive Rock albums of the 1980s. That was the first time. This time it was uh, twice now, once in the first round, once in the second round. Some really good solid tracks here. Shock Treatment, I like that a lot. Uh, Arrive Alive, of course, I think is probably the single on the album. I don't know for sure. It has that kind of start that reminds me of Turbo Lover from Judas Priest. Uh, solid, solid album. Lots of keyboards on this album. Lots of um, synthesizers. Really proggy atmosphere. Guitars are good. Uh, drums are heavy. Music is pretty solid. Like there's a lot of a lot of good things to say about this album. Much more than bad things. Production's pretty good. Sound is pretty clear. It's a clear album. Uh, I also like. Um, March on Atlantis, uh, not as much as uh, just the Atlantis one. Pretty good. Uh, then there's a couple of tracks that are part A's and B's, and I don't see them here. It's not telling me which ones they were. Rise and Fall, Rise and Fall, yeah. Rise and Fall A, Rise and Fall B. Both of them are pretty solid, too. Overall, the album is really a pretty solid album. Um, I don't think it'll ever be, like, among my favorite of all time, but it, it definitely uh, is a good, solid album. Now, its competitor uh, tonight is Fantasy, Fantasy Beyond Plus, which is the album. I'm going to just switch back to that now so that I have access to it. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to attempt to use my new computer to, uh, to uh, help me out here, but I'm not really having a great deal of success with it because I haven't figured out how to use it properly yet. That, any rate, it doesn't want to seem to work for me properly. Anyways, Fantasy, Fantasy Beyond. Okay, so solid, pretty solid album. It's got that kind of 70-ish sound to it. Production isn't as good as it is on the Palace album. Vocals are pretty good, but kind of, I think they're kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the, what I'm, what the word is I'm looking for. I wish I could find the, uh, oh yeah, here it is. This is what I had set up and the computer decided it didn't want me to have that. So anyways, we'll just go a little bit through the tracks. Beyond the Beyond, solid start to the album. Well, actually, introduction was the start to the album. But this is the real kind of first vocal song on the album. I like it. Um, Alan Deria, another pretty solid track. I think it's probably the single on the album as well. If not, it, it's at least one of the better tracks on the album. Worried Man, I like that a lot as well. And Winter Rose is another pretty solid track. So it's got some solid stuff. It's got a kind of, um, it's got that 70-ish prog feel to it. Uh, some good guitar, nice keyboards. Vocals are, you know, they're okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, but it definitely has that dated feeling to it. Um, this album, I liked it. It will beat out the Queen 2 album. And some people took, had a problem with that, but that's fine. Um, I thought it was a better album. I liked it more at the time. Um, I don't think it quite matches up the Palace here. I think the Palace album is, is better and all around better 
the best tracks on this album are better than the best tracks on the fantasy album. The overall feel of the album is better. The production's better. The quality of instrumentation, I think, is also better. Vocals, I know, are better. Um, it has a few other things that... Um, I think the um, artwork on the cover of the Palace album is better than the one on the cover of the uh, Fantasy album. So, I know the Palace album is kind of better in just about every category, but I don't think the Fantasy album is bad. I think it's a pretty solid album. It's an album, it just has come up against the match that it's just not able to overcome. And I think, even though it's a more of a symphonic prog than the Palace one, I still think it's a pretty solid album. But for this particular battle, I think it's going to have to go to Palace and the Sentinel, which I think is just that much better of an album. Uh, there's basically 10 years between the two. The Fantasy one came out in 1974, this one came out in 1984. And you can hear the difference in the production, you can hear the difference in the quality, overall quality, and the Palace album is clear, artwork's better. You know? So overall I just think that it's a better album and I don't have much else to say. It's not really that close either. I think the Palace album is marg is like fairly fairly significantly a better album. So for Palace, we'll move on. The last band in this round, we'll move on to the next round. Now down to eight. There's just eight left. Uh, be interesting to see what matchups I get from Ben. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, it's much appreciated. Make any comments you want to make about these two albums if you uh, if you happen to have had a chance to listen to both. Really solid albums. One's one's good, the other one's much better. That's that's just my opinion. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be back. Uh, this will come out in the morning. So have yourself a good evening, and we will see you then.